Well, hi friends. This is uh, Bernadine coming at you. And I wanted to start this video off by welcoming each and every one of you to my channel, How the Hook Turns. I talk about knitting, crochet, this and that, things about my life. But today I'm going to focus on some socks. Now, I dug these socks out of my uh, dresser drawer late last night because I was so cold. My feet were cold. These socks are five years old and they've been washed and dried many, many times in the washing machine and the dryer. And uh, they're very sturdy. They're very warm. And I just wanted to show off these socks. And on this video, we're going to talk about knitting socks. Not in depth, but just about what I do and, and how it works for me and the pros and the cons and this and that. Okay? So, thank you, friends. Hi, friends and family. Welcome to my channel. My channel's name is How the Hook Turns, and you've either stumbled upon it or you've come here for a purpose. And I'm your host today. My name is Bernadine. And today, we are going to talk about socks. Knitting socks. Making socks. Are they any good? How hard is it to make them? I struggled a, a few years before I conquered it. I shouldn't have had to struggle a couple of years, but I get so frustrated, I just put it away. And I finally watched enough videos on YouTube and read enough books. I can't tell you the books I have because we've moved and I can't find them. And I sure can't tell you the videos I watched because I didn't even have a channel back then. I was just randomly clicking on videos. So, I don't know. I can't tell you what I watched to get it to sink in my head, but finally it did. And I have made many, many pair. I, I don't know how many, but many. And uh, that picture you saw at the beginning are a pair of five-year-old socks that I had in my drawer. I put on, it was so chilly around here, and they're so comfortable. If you've never wore a pair of homemade socks, homemade knitted socks, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Comfort, warmth, durability, uh, a rainbow of colors. Long socks, short socks, ankle socks, mid mid calf socks. You can make whatever you want. And I'm not here to tell you how. I'm just here to show you what how I do some of it. I'm not going to be doing all of it on camera, but I want to show you what I'm working on today. I've had these socks put up for three years on needles put up see they're still on the needles they're still on the needles this one is finished and this one i'm working on and i used knit picks double pointed needles five of them there's four on the sock to make a make a square that's how i like to do it i've done just with the three needles I prefer this way. That's just what I like. You may not. Uh, these are wooden needles. They're nothing fancy. They are not expensive. They come in a little package of five. Uh, let's see how long they are. Let, let me measure. And I'll tell you. These are the five inch needles. You can also get the six inch needles, but I find five is plenty long enough, but that's me. And uh, they've just been sitting in the jar. And when I got my socks out, actually I got them out last night, I was so cold. Not that it's that cold here, but it, I was cold. <laughs> and uh, I slept with them on and they were so warm and yummy. So, uh, I just wanted to talk about socks today. So this isn't about crochet, it's about knitting socks. It's not in-depth knitting socks, but just to get you, give you an idea of what I do and what mine turn out to be 
and why and why not maybe i don't know this there's no script to this i'm just going flying by the seat of my pants making a video about something i really enjoy doing now i love crochet too this is a this is my first hat i ever made crochet i mean this is my first crochet hat i ever made this pattern is by fiber spider and i don't know the pattern because that was so long ago I don't know but I did he did a tutorial and I went step by step and I made the hat so let me get you set up turn around and I'll get you right back here with me grab you a project grab you a drink or a snack or whatever you want meet me back here chit chat patty whack come right back okay friends we're back my drink of the day is some iced tea I've got here by my side and uh, I hope you have something good to drink. So this is the sock that is finished. And as you can see, your foot is down here. This is a, gonna be a long sock. Now, I make long and short socks. I don't have any that I make in between, but you could. So if somebody wanted that, you can just stop whenever you please, okay? In other words. But 100 grams will make two socks. Now, if you make them long, such as these, or longer, you might need more yarn. But what you can do is you can weigh your yarn as you go along. And when you get 50 grams gone off of the scale, you know it. you've got to stop. Or right before you get there, you've got to stop and start your other sock. Because 50 grams of yarn will make a sock. The, the size of these needles, I believe, are 2.25 millimeter. They're very small. I have another set of them. Now here, I will show you. I have all this yarn left over. Because I think I bought two, skank, two uh, hanks of it. These were Hanks that I rolled up. Then I did a ball winder, but I had to, I don't know what happened, but I, I did them on, on, a, on a Swift and a ball winder. This one kind of looks like it, but this one doesn't. But anyway, I have extra yarn. I decided since I'm not going to, this, this yarn goes to this unfinished sock, and I have plenty, plenty, as you can see, to finish it. I guess you can see that. So I have all this yarn left over. I decided to make two pairs of short socks. So these will just go over your heel and at your ankle, but not very high. Not not really an ankle sock. They're called travel socks. The pattern is on Ravelry. Travel socks. And I do believe it is a free pattern to download. So if you want to uh, check out the travel socks, that is a very good pattern. It's easy to follow. I recommend it. So anyway, I will be making, that's as far as I've got. This is the only sock I've started. But yes, that's as far as I've got. Now, as you can see, or you may not can see, I'm gonna point this out to you guys. This is the completed sock. This is the top of the sock that I'm, no, this is the, sorry, this is a completed sock. This is a second sock. As you can see, I did not manage colors. I did not color coordinate each sock. I like the idea of socks, just the yarn, just let it go where it wants to go. I love them like that. I don't like to be, I don't want them to look like they came out of a store, okay? Because they didn't. They come out off of my hands. So, <laughs> I just like it. You could do that, though. Absolutely. But, and I can't tell you what this yarn is. Because I looked just now, and I didn't see it on, on the Simply Sock Yarn Company's website. But, it could be there. They have so many. But, I didn't come across it. And like I said, it has been years since I bought the yarn. 
and these have just been sitting waiting to be worked on yes 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 so let's see let me move you around just a little bit so you can see now I have tried when I first started trying to make socks friends I started with aluminum needles that was a big mistake mistake it was a mistake for me uh, because <laughs> you don't want these little stitches sliding off of your needles you might want to carry them someplace in your bag of course, I wouldn't just throw them in like that. I would, like, scoop them up like they were right in the middle of, of my, my, my needle. And then I would put them together and wrap them up. I wouldn't just throw them in there. But even if you wrap them up with real slippery needles, they will come off pretty easily. And as you're working with it, they will come off pretty easily, too. So th th you don't want that. Yeah, and yeah, they're little they're little tiny stitches, but they're not they're not difficult to do and they're not difficult to manage because well if I can manage them, anybody can manage them. I'm not a guru. I haven't had any professional lessons. I just pick this stuff up off YouTube. And a few books I got at Hobby Lobby. I got one book and I don't know what it was because I don't have it, but it was very good. It really helped. It helped me to uh, understand the anatomy of a sock. And you've got to know the anatomy somewhat. Well, you might. <laughs> I did anyway. I had to know the anatomy. I, I have to know how things go together. I have to understand what I'm working towards. yeah so actually friends after i got my sock i hope y'all can see after i got my sock um a pair of socks out because i have of course it's been summer i haven't worn them i hope y'all can see do y'all have enough light uh, hold on friends I'm going to try something else with this light. Hold on a second. Okay, sweet friends, I'm back. I hope this lighting is better. I had to get another light out and try to adjust it where you could see. I am just not sure it is the best lighting, but anyway, I don't know where I was talking to y'all. I'm not sure. So, I know this is not crochet, and if you're not interested in sock knitting, because it's mostly about crochet around here, but as I told y'all, I do both, and I like to, uh, I like to do both. I haven't knitted with these tiny needles in so long. <laughs> I'm just having to feel my way and get a rhythm. You know what I mean. We need a rhythm. One thing's for sure, I can't hold these down as far as I hold my crochet. I need to have these up a little, partly because the stitches are so tiny. And this is just knitting in the round. And I'm just going to go down, 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 down until I get to where I need to start making the toe. Decreasing for the toe. Yeah. And uh, so all you do, these are the total of stitches that I have divided up between uh, my needles. There are 16 on each stitch. And that makes a sock with my tension that I use to fit me perfectly. <laughs> of course, you can cast on more. You can make them as big as you need, or you can make them for children as small as you need. 
I can't tell you what the stitch count would be for that. I've never made child socks, but you can. All mine have gone to friends and family that are adult. And you get a lot of pleasure out of making socks, I think. It's a lot of fun. And the reason I think I learned to do it, because I wanted to do it so much. I wanted so badly to learn. And I would give up, like I said, for a little while. And then just come right back in a few months and try it again. I think my husband got frustrated with me. I don't I think he never he thought I'd never learn that. Well, I thought the same thing. I thought I'd never learn it too. Boy, I've made a lot of boo-boos, okay? <laughs> I've wasted a lot of yarn in my endeavor to conquer socks. <laughs> and if I really knew how to do a tutorial friends I would do one but I don't think I have the patience and, and probably not the knowledge you need I, this, this is my knowledge it's how I do things and so I just keep on uh, just keep on going in the round that's how I do it. And with these little stitches, it does take a while to make a sock. I've never sold a sock, a pair of socks. Because what I would ask for them would be ridiculously high. And I would never ask someone to pay that. So, therefore, I have never tried to sell them. The time alone that goes into these things is worth a lot. And so, I just wouldn't feel comfortable putting a price on them. So, I never have. But they, if you want to make you some socks, I can assure you. Oh, and these, these are care friendly, okay? I don't know. I don't have, of course, I don't have the labels. I don't have the ball bands anymore. They got lost in the transfer and shuffle of everything. So I can't tell you exactly what this yarn is. I can tell you it was 100 grams. And I can tell you that it's wa uh, machine washable and dryable. I don't really want anything. I have to lay flat and dry for socks. Because I want, I want to just throw them in the washer and throw them in the dryer and get them out and go. Because these are to wear. You can wear these every day. And I don't want anything complicated. So I'm not sure what these socks are made out of. But I know because I've used this yarn and I've washed it and dried it in the washer and the dryer and I know it works. So, you know, I really don't have any, a whole lot today to show you. I wanted to come on here and showcase my socks and my sock knitting. And I have done different patterns for socks, like on the calf. Of course, the foot on a pattern would stay simple, like just the knit. But you can make all kinds of designs going up the sock on your leg. There's all kinds of patterns out there, and they're not complicated. So, friends, <laughs> I'm going to leave you with that. I'm going to leave you with that this afternoon. Let me put you up here. I'm going to leave that you with that. And I'm going to thank you for watching my video. And uh, I just.
just wanted to touch base with you. It's Saturday, November the 11th, 12th, 13th. What? No, no, it's not the 11th. Monday is the 11th, so today's the 9th. Saturday the 9th. And the rain is over out here. Everything's drying up, thank goodness. No, we didn't have any flooding. I mean, there was flood advisories all around us, but no, oh, it's turned out to be, of course, it's very windy and cold, but it's very sunny and beautiful out there. Yeah. So, friends, <laughs> just wanted to come on here and showcase my sock. And my second sock I'm making. And tell y'all to like, comment, and subscribe if you like my channel. I put out different content on my videos. They're not all knitting. That's not all crochet. It's just a bit of this and a bit of that. Sometimes about my life. And uh, my everyday life, yeah. And crafts. And I'm on a Christmas crunch around here. Christmas crunch. I got cr gifts to get out. I can't just be lollygagging with socks because that's not what I planned. I have a couple of shawls on the needles. I have a blanket on the hook. I have a cardigan on the hook. I got hats still to make to go with those uh, scarves. Yeah. I'm going to be busy. It's Christmas time around this little craft room. But I wanted to take a minute out of my day. I found these socks in the in my little jar, <laughs> my little storage jar that I had stuffed with my yarn, and then I got my socks out last night, and I was just amazed at how I'd missed them since last winter. <laughs> yeah. So, be kind to one another. Do for others. <sighs> Think of others. And I want to send my love to you and know God loves you too. And uh, come back and visit me. I love all of y'all. Bye from my corner of the world. Bye, friends.